think there's anything else to do, so let's just go to... I can just... I can't use E enough. There's probably going to be a skit ever need or something. Solitoma is as awful as I remember. I'd hoped I'd never have to drink it again. Are you alright, Eleanor? Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> what does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitoma. <laughs> no! Get back here! <laughs> Don't! Keep that sound thing away from me! The sweet taste of another suffering. Well, she just stopped you from dying, Magalu. So. Illogical bunch. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to! But getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well, at the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical yeah i don't know quite how to put it but i think it's all amazing <laughs> aren't you forgetting someone hmm uh Maggie Lou is traveling with us even though she doesn't care and that yes go on i don't really understand what that's about uh <gasps> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. Maglu's job is to entertain us. She's our entertainment. That's what her job is. Hello there. You're headed to Loringen Tower too? Just a bit ago, a brawny, silver-haired man asked me how to get there. Did he say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said someone else might stop by and ask about the tower, and told me to tell him if they do. Did he mean you? <laughs> no clue. So he was planning on us following him. What's he scheming? You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey? Both. Yo, got a pirate flag storm crew, ramfish one. Nice. Also a level up. Uh, try to get Dynamo Islands complete. Lundgren Towers of Dawn Bruin, north of the Fens of Nog and the west side of Burnett Plateau. Now the Abbey controls the place and won't let anyone near it. Trespassers are dealt with harshly. Alright, so we're gonna, yeah, we're going back to Burnett Plateau. Loringen Tower lies beyond the Burnak Plateau. Blah! If you're gonna set up an obvious trap, couldn't it at least be someplace more convenient? So that is where Vortigern was, actually. It's the same field area as in Vortigern, so we are basically going like on the opposite side of where we were from Vortigern. I believe after this, we are headed to Isolde. But we'll reach Assault today without a doubt. And we'll even get to make some progress in the assault in the assault region.
I just want to look around before I start doing some fights, by the way. Wait, I didn't... Just to, you know... Over there has some stuff to grab. I'll fight these orcs. Oh, no, not dangerous. I shouldn't have done dangerous. Eleanor is already dead. This is bad. I thought I would make it. This is not what I wanted. I did not want a dangerous encounter. Somehow. You orcs mine. Oh my goodness. That hit me. The breach of that is so whack. I mean, not really. I'm mostly just annoyed that I got knocked down there. Alright, my fire mine is really getting me through this. Get me healed up, thank you. Uh, hey, get Maglu up. She needs to be alive. You know what? Grogoro, switch out for Velvet. Right, that did help a little bit. Also, we need Eleanor back. Dude, I can't wait to get the uh, vent hit or the item that makes it where you can like... Uh, what? How, I don't know how to describe it. Like, you can like chain spells. Kind of like you, you press the button and you can go from one spell to the other in the other Tales games. I don't know what you would really call that from a Tales of st standpoint. Basically, I want the item that makes it easier to change spells together. So I can go from Aqua Split to Flood Wall. Without, like, using only one skill slot. You, you, these slimes are so annoying in every single Tales game. I hate them. Like, with a passion. Alright, spin. I can't believe you hit me with your stupid sludge. It's actually a really good combo to do. Fire mine to flood wall. Kinda works. Yo, Elnor and Velvet are going all out on those enemies. Yo, Rising Falcon, let's go. I love Rising Falcon, Tales of Classic. Let me set that whenever I go back to playing as Velvet. I kind of want to put that... I think I put that right here. Or should Buttle the Rising Falcon. Yeah. Plus, don't we have like a... Yeah, we have a repeat. Let's put Avalanche right here instead of the, Av the Swallow Dance right there. That works. Alright, I don't want anything to do with you guys right now. I kind of just want to get my treasure and move on to Burnak Plateau. We're already level 31, so that's not bad. Pretty good on level ups right now. Plus, the game hasn't been too challenging. We don't really need level ups too much at the moment. But I will do some fights for the sake of it. Game, just give me a good grip. Give me a good Magalu Mystic Art. Her first Mystic Art is so pathetic. I want her actual good Mystic Art. Her Mystic Arts. Her other two are really good. But her first one is, like, actually pathetic. And lame. 
So do I not have ground fire yet? No, but I have gliding blast. Let's just put that right here so I don't have spirit drop like three times. Lana. That's what you get for trying to approach me. Um, floodwalk, guys. I was kind of hoping you'd get hit by fire mine. Never mind, you did. It's fine. Everything's okay with the world. Come on, really? Ooh, art appeals. That's a pretty good art, if I remember right. Especially because Lapiset's early hidden arts are pretty lacking, so especially for having that now with Lapiset is amazing. Now the question is, is there a cat's chest here? Because if so, I have not encountered it. I would assume there is. There's like a cat's chest in most every field and dungeon. Which by that logic means there's at least like 35 to 40 field areas in the game. Field areas slash dungeons. I'm gonna hold my money and say that there is. I'm gonna bet that there is a cat's chest here. I just haven't located it. Which by now I feel like I should have located, but... What do I know? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a geo board right now. A geo board would be really nice. Still have a good ways away for that. I mean, we're not super far away from it, but like, still have a good ways away to get that geo board. Also, I think I'm gonna have to eat my words. There's no cat's chest here. Could be up near Brunak Plateau. I'm not too worried about that now. We're gonna have to come back and 100% the game anyway, so if we don't find the cats, just not a big deal. Plus, we missed the one where High Priest Gideon was still. We still have to find the way back there. We are eventually gonna have to get all the cats just for a super uh, optional boss later. And just for the sake of doing it for the 100% run. <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said? I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh, really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women, and of everyone really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Well, um... It's like Zavid said. You start talking with your fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought. Yeah, the world's a complicated place. What can I say? Oh, there is my cat's chest. As I started talking about it. Yo, the Shiba Inu tail. Second best dog in America. Do not at me. Second best. this or fragment oh core red demon right here don't mind if i do this is the breed wolf i think yep breed wolf you weak to fire no you are weak to water okay fire does good on you though so magu is a fine character to play as Dude, I love Rising Falcon, especially Velvet's variant of it. I have Magalu now. Yo, Lapiset with that binding order, not bad. I see you, Lapiset. Good job, good job. Nice one on you. So that made my fire mine go the way, which is kind of lame, but what are you gonna do? I broke your guard. I need some souls. Yeah, 
You use a break saw on me so I can get us all. Never mind, you're almost dead. But you do really doesn't matter to me. This is just bad on so many levels. It is I, Imagilu, the Magalanica. Whatever her full name is, which I still don't know to this day. Yo, nice stun on me. Nice trip, loser. Oh no. He was about to hit me in prob- Oh, there is his stun. Dude, why is your stun rate so insane? Thank you, Eleanor. Greatly appreciate it. Check out my chocolate doll. I got the chocolate idol in my hand. Oh my goodness, that hit me. That also reached me. I cannot believe that. I mean, we got this in the bag still. Oh, there's some souls on the ground. I died again, my goodness. Back to bed. Have I ever mentioned that Mogalu was great? I, I probably mentioned it, but not enough. Hey, Wolf, you wanna, like, screw off? And that, now we're in this. Now we're in this. It's over. I'm just gonna spam my spells. Don't mind me. Alright, Flood Ball on your- Oh, Eleanor's dead! Oh, no. So is Rokuro. Alright, I mean, these things don't even give you much XP. Hey, stop. I was stunned. Why is this wolf so annoying? My goodness. Lava said, do not kill this thing, whatever you do. I don't I don't care how much XP we get, I want to make sure everyone gets it. That's 1200. You can live like a hit, but the combo in it's dead. Let's just die, please. There we go. All right, yeah, no XP. That was a waste of my time, but hey, it's fine. Yo, the Luminary's Ventib. We got the power of the Dragon Quest XI Luminary. It's great. For each successful hit during a Mystic Art, a portion of expand. I should have read that. <laughs> For each successive hit during a Mystic Art portion, a portion of expended BG. Ooh, that's nice, actually. Really good Ventib. Turns out Dragon Quest XI, which is like one of the best games ever made, is coming in clutch. Okay, what was I going to do? Nothing. I think I was just going to move on. There is an exclamation right here, which probably leads to some kind of cutscene. Whoa! Hot water is spouting out of the mountain! And look at those rainbows. This is one of the seven wonders of the world, the Burnack Geyser. The water heats up from underground until the pressure forces it to spray up from the surface. And the rainbows are caused by light reflecting from the salt suspended in the mineral water. It took tens of thousands of years for the minerals to accumulate here and form this phenomenon. Wow-wee! That was very educational. At least you know plenty of trivia, if nothing else. Additionally, the groundwater veins that feed this geyser are connected to the sea. Because of this, every now and then a boiled octopus or crab will shoot out from the geyser! No way! That's impossible! Well, not impossible, but with the salt content of the geyser's water, I bet they're seasoned to perfection. Magulu, I'm declaring your bizarre imagination the eighth wonder of the world. People say that all the time. Man, what RPG doesn't have seven wonders? It's such a common thing, am I right? Hey guys. I thought someone died already, I would be like, what? We're not even doing a dangerous encounter, and the fact that someone died. Luckily, no one did, though. I was just wrong, heavily. 